Hey guys, it's Mover96 here, and I got a quick little tutorial for you guys. If you saw my first episode on the Get in the Cart Pig server that I posted yesterday, um, you saw me messing around with furnaces and trying and struggling a lot with trying to get a vertical dropper system so that if there was hoppers down here from like furnaces or whatever and a way to get it back up to where it originally started. So I've been messing around in creative mode and I have two designs for you guys which I'll show you how to build both and they're very simple. The first one is kind of something what I was doing yesterday and and basically um, if you see this hopper right here there's a comparator here which goes into a block which then powers the piston pushes out this redstone block powering the dropper. So if um, the comparator will output power if anything goes inside here and so this will basically if anything goes in this dropper it will cause it to move up to the next one and then conveniently enough this one has the same system on it but on the opposite side and they don't interfere with each other so then this one and there's a piston back here and this redstone block will put up here and it will go into this dropper and so on and so forth so if you put one let's say in here and I'll just put one command block it gets brought all the way up to the top and here it is and then another problem that I had after I finished the recording of the episode is sometimes like I was having two furnaces smelt items and if they both finished at the same time there would be two items in this hopper and the hopper was actually faster than the dropper system and so it would clog it up because there would be an item left over and this pulse would still be on and it wouldn't pulse the dropper again so what's happened what I did here was I added for the very first one it's the same basic concept where this comparator, instead of going into a block, it goes into a repeater, which goes into a block, which then powers this redstone dust, powering this piston, and then it makes this dropper shoot up. But also, it branches off to this piston, which, expo or which pushes out this redstone block, powering this hopper, which stops it from allowing items to flow through into the dropper. So, like, if, um, if I take away this system, and if I put in, let's say, six redstone torches, the first redstone torch will go, but then see how it gets stuck down here because the other five remain. So if I put this, uh, let me grab a block, if I put this block back here and add seven of these guys now, see it unpowers and repowers it while moving all of these up to here. And the pistons are really loud, sorry about that. And um, so here's all eight redstone torches. So that's how that works. And then over here I built a pistonless version, which actually takes less space, or not less space, but less um, redstone mechanics as well because it doesn't use those redstone blocks. And um, this guy, same concept, this is to prevent multiple multiple of uh, items from flowing into this dropper at a time. So there's this one, but then this one comes around here and it uses this chain of redstone and repeaters um, to put it up in the chest. And this one uses a trick that if you, I'll show you really fast, if you power one one dropper and then the one above it and if you power it with a repeater whatever item is in here will also it will go through both hoppers basically see how it came out the top so if I had a third or dropper sorry if I had a third dropper up there and I put a piece of redstone in let's say and then I got oops sorry I have a bunch of torches and I put this in there it will go up into the third because this powers this block which also powers this one like a tick later but the game's fast enough to process it so this one, same concept, if I put, uh, say, 10 redstone in this hopper, which, and the, these hoppers could be coming from anything, and uh, it goes into droppers and bring it up, and these are both, you, you can expand these vertically infinitely until, you know, within reason, but, um, yep, because they work just off the droppers, you don't need long wires, but the one thing you will notice about this one is it's, con it's silent, but it's considerably slower, and to show that I have this test, where I'm just going to lock both of these hoppers, and I'm going to put a stack of droppers in that one, and a stack of droppers in this one, and it's going down, but they see they're being stuck in here. And then I'm going to flip off this switch, and you will see that this piston one on the right goes... That, watch that piston versus that one. The one on the right moves considerably faster, and that's just based off the repeater and torch delays that this one has. So, um, it all depends on what you're going for. And I think if you expanded this one, you can make it so it, only every other dropper had to have one of these detector systems, but it would revolve more repeaters and be more complicated, so I think you're better off just sticking with this design. But I'll pause it now. Oops. Yeah, same thing. And this one has 40 droppers, and this one has 20. So this one's about twice as fast, so I think it's good investment. And then also, if you do decide to go with this one, um, and this contraption that locks this hopper here is the same thing, but a pistonless one.
and even though it has a longer delay it still works fine so if you you could do, use this on either the design instead of having that piston piston mechanism and then you just pull power off of this right here and so yeah um, it's pretty simple and it works a lot better. I'll probably be changing the ones over in my survival world to these. So here's this one so you can see everything. And you can just pause the video to build it because they're super, super simple. And then this one, you just alternate these every other one. And also, I'd recommend paying attention to... It's not so, such a big a deal with this one because you really can't have this level with the ground unless you have this behind a wall. So my best uh, suggestion is to just drop this chest one into the ground. But with this one, you can have it level if you pay attention to which dropper you're starting with. So as long as this, as long as um, the second to last one is being powered, then you can put ground here. But see, if this was all moved up one, this would have to be showing. And so if you do go with this one, you can actually hide it a lot better, even though it's significantly slower. So yep, just a quick video for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.